So today's update is going to be a little different. Um, this is a drill update, but it's also a collaboration. When I started making videos for YouTube, I looked to a lot of other people for inspiration. I found videos that interested me, and a lot of those were blacksmithing videos or um, not really, I guess, homesteading videos, things like that, where people are having to make their own things and uh, that inspired a lot of the things that I make and spawned off a lot of ideas and as I built my shop up and created more videos I always watched them and commented along and I got to know a few of the people one of those in particular is Justin from the good of the land I'm gonna link it right there in the info card Justin has his own little homestead he's building he's got a tiny house that he's built own 20 acres of land I believe is what it is and um, he also I believe he volunteers correct me if I'm wrong Justin at a uh, old-timey mill type museum thing it looks pretty awesome and he does a lot of uh, restorations which is what got me hooked on his channel initially his restoration projects are very thorough very detailed and since he works at a body shop, he's got plenty of the tools on hand to do the things that he needs to do. So I've always enjoyed his editing and, and his videos. And so I started commenting on him. Well, to my surprise, Justin commented back and offered to help me. His channel has just about anything you'd want to see if it's got to do with... Uh, you know, metal work or blacksmithing, specifically old-timey blacksmithing. I know a lot of his stuff he does with a coal forge and hand tools, a lot of um, hand crank tools, things like that. Um, or even his restorations are on tools like that, at least. So, the reason I bring this up is that he recently, well, his last video, actually, at the time of this recording, his last video was a drill press restoration. Now, a few months ago when I talked to Justin, I told him that my idea was to do a drill press restoration myself. And he told me he was also doing one. So, um, you know, I got to see his on his video. And his is a two-part series, which he hasn't released the second part at this time. But I'm looking forward to seeing it because the first part was great. Now, my drill press series has been broken up into a lot more pieces because... I haven't been able to do a lot of the things you know I did the welding portion last week but that's because I just got a welder so several of the things have been kind of out of my scope which brings me to the broken drill rod this drill rod is out of my scope um, conveniently Justin knows a guy named Mike who is a wizard with a lathe and other milling tools that I know nothing about and so this drill rod broke when I was pulling it out of the drill. It's got, try to see if I can get it close enough that you can actually tell, but it's, it broke right here on top. And it's got several different parts, different um, the lines, I guess, that are milled into it. And it's even got a ball there, like a little ball bearing. You can't reproduce this. Not in my garage with the little bit of tools I have so it's just a uh, it's a very intricate piece of steel and I need help doing it so anyway in Justin's video he has the same problem he has an issue with his drill rod I can't remember if it broke or if there was something else wrong with it but anyway Justin goes to his buddy Mike and has him put together a new drill rod for him so I commented and said, you know, I'm hung up at the same point on my drill restoration. It's good to see that you made it past that. And he told me to send him a message and we could do a collaboration. I'm going to be sending him the drill rod. I'm actually going to send him everything. Everything except the base plate um, that I welded together because I'm still working on grinding it out and smoothing it out like I want it. And it's a pretty basic piece anyway. But I'm going to send him the whole thing that way he can see how it all goes together if he needs anything for reference. But mainly what he's going to focus on is getting another drill rod made for me that matches this one. So 
without further ado, I'm going to make a little part here for Justin. When you get this in the mail, I'm going to go ahead and take the chuck off. The chuck is frozen up. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of dark. Um, yeah. But I haven't actually gone through the steps to unfreeze this yet. And I plan to, so if you don't mess with it, it's not a huge deal. But I just want to let you know, I'm going to put that in there. That way you can get the correct measurements and everything in case you need it. The drill rod itself is going to be just like this, including the broken part. And I'm going to throw, I guess it goes together just like this. You'll, you'll know when you see it because it's sheared off in a way that you can see. But there's a little notch right there. And inside that notch goes this tiny little semicircle piece of metal. That piece is not broken itself. It's just used like a pin. When this is together, when this is together and installed, that little semicircle slides into this slot and holds this rod in place at some part of the drill. So what I'm going to do is package all of this up and send it your way. And I look forward to seeing what you can do with it. And I have one last request, Justin. I know I hate to ask anything of you because you've already offered so much. But when you get this, the main part of the drill, if you've got any way to get this uh, main gear out of here, go ahead and do it. Um, because I'm going to resort to banging on it with a hammer or clamping it in a vise or something. Um, the main part that's holding this on is a little seized up set screw. I don't know if you can even get it to focus, but it's right down in there and it's a flathead. There's no way I can get it out. Uh, I may drill it out if it comes down to it, but you can't get the gear out without actually taking the set screw off and removing the gear from the rod itself. But I'm sending you the whole kit, the whole drill, everything I've got for it, except for this base plate that goes on here. And I'm going to leave you at your liberty to do whatever you want with it. So if you come across this video and haven't checked out Justin's channel, The Good of the Land, then you need to check that out and go ahead and subscribe to him and you won't be disappointed. He puts out a lot of great content and I know I always watch it. I'm, I watch it as soon as it pops up on my phone usually. So he's a good guy with a good channel. You need to check him out and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you can see what he sends back because I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot better than the first four parts of this series where I've tried to fix this thing myself. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.